A very dirty tow rope. Okay, that's not the name of it. That's what I personally call it. It's actually in Ashley's book of knots number 160 and it is a tow rope. But this tow rope is a little bit different. Firstly, it is very, very easy to tie and it falls to bits once the weight is off it. However, as long as there is weight on your object and I'll pull on this now and you can see I'm pulling really, really tight and it's not coming undone. But it, that's the beauty of it. It is so simplistic. You may or may not find this useful. Now, I reckon, this is my personal opinion now, this particular sort of tow rope is not for vertical lifting. It's for pulling vehicles with axles on a horizontal plane because if you start lifting things, I think this one is a rather dangerous knot because if any weight comes off the actual rope itself, it can have a tendency to come undone. And the whole idea of this particular tow rope was that you could actually move your object a very short distance, readjust your tow rope to realign your um, axle, and it's for just going and maneuvering round obstacles for short distances. And if I look at Ashley's book of knots here, it's a 160, a method of affixing a tow rope to an automobile or truck axle for short hauls. And then it goes on to say who it was devised by. And what I will do is in the description below, I will give you more information about it. So anyway, let's get on and actually tie this one. Okay. And look, if I, as soon as I take the slack off it, I can then just pull it out and it's come undone. So here we have at the top here, right hand side is my axle and then the first thing I do is I get hold of my rope pass it around whoops knocking the camera doesn't help I pass it around my axle once I've passed it around my axle I get hold of the bottom rope the one that's going underneath my axle itself and I just pick it up and I put a twist in it so what I'm doing is I'm putting a twist in there so that it's going like that. So it's, if I lay it on its side, it's going around underneath itself and then over the top and off in that direction. And as soon as I've done that, I just make it small enough, make that loop small enough to pass this working end through. So pass that working end through. And there we go. Working end is now passed through. I can pull up a bit tighter on it. You want to keep a little bit of tension on there. And then we do exactly the same again. I get hold of my rope and I form a loop in it. Just twist it round. So I'm forming a loop like that. And then next thing that I do is we need to bring our working end. So when we look at that, on the last one, the working end went through that side. We're going to do exactly the get same again. Put my working end through that loop. There we go. Through that loop there. And there we have it. We now have our towing line is secure. That's it. And what you do is, as you're pulling up on this, just pull up and allow those knots to pull up. And then we can let go of the, once it's tight, we can let go of that working end. And that is now locked in place. And as I pull on that, all it's going to do is not, the knot's not going to fail, but it will allow us to move our axle a short distance readjust, undo it if we want to, and put the, t the dirty tow rope on as such again. And so that's basically all it is. I, I think of it as, as a little bit of a dirty tow rope. I don't know why. I, it's just something I came up with um, because it doesn't actually have a name, but it is a, just a nice, nifty, quick little way of putting a tow rope around an object. And the, the beauty of it is if you've got a really heavy object, this is so easy to undo. Once you've taken the weight off, all you do is just pull it like so. And that's it. So there we have it. One in number, tow rope for short hauls. Okay? So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care then. Bye-bye.